Today's Morning Minute, self-confident, day 17 of the fraud committed by Satan against man. Satan committed fraud in the Garden of Eden, wanting man to be self-confident and trust in themselves instead of God. We've been trained by the lies and standards of this world, which is to be self-confident. How's it working, being self-confident? Has trusting in your own confidence removed fear, worry, guilt, condemnation, regret, rejection, loneliness, hurt, anger, depression, and unforgiveness? By putting your confidence in yourself, have you gained victory over your emotions, worries, and feelings? The Word of God is contrary to the world's way of thinking. and We read in Proverbs 3, uh, chapter 3, verse 5 and 7, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all, in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. We read in, in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of God. The transformed mind is renewed into the image and likeness of God. The transformed mind knows their identity in Christ Jesus. The transformed mind knows God's love and total forgiveness of sin. The transformed mind knows they are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The perfect will of God is found when you trust God with all, with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. His perfect will is a choice of your will to seek him. When you seek him, you'll find him when you seek him with all of your heart. And in James chapter 1, verse 5, in the Amplified, if anyone lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he is to ask, ask our benevolent God who gives to everyone, everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given him. The Holy Spirit lives in the born-again follower of, of Christ Jesus. Your confidence in God's word and his wisdom will give you victory over your circumstances and problems. Jesus Christ's resurrection has given you victory over sin and death. Seek first his kingdom versus your kingdom and your past will be made straight. Jesus Christ legally and judicially restored you back to your legal family as a child of God in the image and likeness of God. You have all the legal rights and privileges as a son or daughter of God. You are blessed. You're designed to operate at the level of your father. You have life abundantly. You have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God living in you. Amen and amen.